Today is a Q&A Weekends episode where we answer your question right here on the show. If you have a question you want to ask, just email us at support at businessrepublic.net. As always, I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online over at 100mba.net. we got a lot of free goodies for you to check out over there, free guides, a free course to help you get started. Today's question comes from Lance, and Lance asks, I notice you use Zendesk for customer support. Why did you choose them? Good question, Lance. For those who don't know, Zendesk is a online cloud-based customer service software. It's a great tool to organize all your customer service tickets or emails from customers. It's also great if you want to add live chat to your site or even phone. In today's Q&A weekends, I'll go into my journey of discovering Zendesk why we choose to use them, and what I used before then, and why did we settle on Zendesk today. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by SumoMe, the best tool for growing your email list and increasing your website traffic. Best of all, it's completely free. They got a free forever plan. It works on any website, so get it installed right now. Head on over to sumome.com and get started. Again, that's sumome.com. So why Zendesk? Good question. So let me back up a little bit. First of all, we didn't always use Zendesk. And to be clear, we use Zendesk for Webinar Ninja. Webinar Ninja is our webinar software. With software, you need a robust system for customer service. For the $100 MBA training and community, we simply use email. There's not a lot of support that's needed or guidance. It's a course. We do get a few emails a day, and we're able to handle it with just simple, good old Gmail for work. And that's how we did customer service for a very long time, with just Gmail. We created a Gmail for work account and created a support at email address. Pretty simple, right? And we did that for years. But as Webinar Ninja grew, we needed a better system for handling customer service emails. And you'll hear me say emails and tickets interchangeably. They're called tickets inside of a software like this because you know when you reply to an email, sometimes you want to keep that thread open. And that's why they call them tickets. You keep the ticket open or closed. You know how many tickets you solved, all these things. So when we first started with Webinar Ninja, we used a software called User Voice. And User Voice was a great software we started to use when we started to grow with our customers. Now, this is especially important to use a software if you're not the only person handling these tickets or handling these emails. And for us, we did have a customer service rep helping us out. And when you have a system, many people can work on a ticket or many people can pick up the ticket. With email, only people with access to that email address can actually do it. Of course, you could share access, but it can get messy because it looks like the same person is replying instead of different people And you could do that with different users inside a customer service software like User Voice or Zendesk. As you can see, it can get confusing really quick, and that's why you need software. So User Voice really served a great purpose at the start. It helped us out, helped us get organized. But as we grew, we decided we needed more. We needed more options. We needed an easier way to track customer service. We wanted to send surveys to people and see how people are doing. When I say people, I mean our team, the people that are handling the customer service tickets. I want to see how I'm doing as well as a person who answers tickets. And with Zendesk, they automatically send a survey to people after they have a closed ticket. And the survey asks them, how were you served? What was your experience like? The same thing goes after they finish a live chat. And that's something else we introduced in Webinar Ninja, having live chat support. And Zendesk works very well with live chat as well. They have a separate product called Zopium or it's Zopum, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But the point here is is that those two work together, the ticketing and the chat software, and actually your chats turn into tickets so you can follow up with the user later on. So we just felt like Zendesk is the next step. We needed to go with that. I did a lot of research. I tried them out for a month, and I was really happy with it. Now, I have to say, Zendesk is not cheap. It's probably one of the more expensive ones. But I have to say, their support is great. And the software is fantastic. You have to pay per user, per agent, as they call it. So if you and somebody else are going to be answering tickets, then two agents. If you can add another person, that's another agent. And there's a fee per agent, per application. So if you're just answering tickets or emails, that's an application. But if you're doing live chat, that's a different application. So you're going to have to pay per user for that as well. 
But if you're looking at something that's average, something in the middle, and you only have maybe two users or two agents, you're looking around $1,500 a year, maybe $2,000 depending on the options you choose. The more agents you have, the more expensive it gets. Now, do I recommend them? I do recommend them. I think they're actually a really good software. They're a good company. I love their marketing. I love the way they set up their software. And it's not to say that user voice is not good. I actually like user voice a lot. But there were a few options that we needed and Zendesk offered them. So we moved on into Zendesk. So Lance, if you're looking into starting out and you just have maybe one agent yourself, I probably would recommend using Zendesk when you first get started. Why? Because we had to migrate a few times And it's a little bit of a pain. And if you're just one user and you're going with a basic account, I think it's $19 a month. It's very reasonable. I say very reasonable based on what you actually get. The software is really helpful. If you don't have the budget for that, then just stick with Eel for now and then move on to Zendesk when you do have the budget. Guys, I got more on today's topic or today's Q&A weekends. But before that, let me give love to today's sponsor, Braintree. You remember the first dollar you made as an entrepreneur. Pretty awesome, right? Now, you want to grow to make your billionth dollar. Have you found the right payments partner to grow with you? Braintree lets you accept every way to pay, from PayPal to Apple Pay to everything in between. They even take Bitcoin. I love this. All it takes is one integration, and it doesn't matter what currency your customers are using because Braintree lets you accept over 130 of them. To learn more about how your company can grow with Braintree, visit braintreepayments.com slash MBA. Again, that's braintreepayments.com slash MBA. Guys, to wrap up today's Q&A Weekends episode, we love Zendesk. We think it's a great software, but it's not for everybody. If you're just getting started, you may not need it right away. Let me give you some numbers to go by. So if you are getting, let's say, two or three emails a day, then I think email is fine going with Gmail right now. It's not crazy. You can knock it out in 20 minutes. But if you're getting more than 10 emails a day, I would say it's time for you to go with the software. It can get really confusing at that point. And I would recommend that you start with Zendesk because migrating from one system to another is a little bit of a pain, like I mentioned. And Zendesk is pretty affordable when you're just one agent. Guys, quick reminder, Zendesk is not a sponsor of today's show. They're not paying us a dime to say any of this stuff. This is a genuine testimonial based on our own experience. And it's a question, so we had to answer it. All right, guys, I hope you love today's Q&A weekends. Remember, tomorrow is a must-read episode. I share with you a book that really has influenced me as an entrepreneur. Tomorrow's must-read is Money, Master the Game by Tony Robbins. Can't wait to get into that, so make sure you hit subscribe so you get it automatically. All right, guys, before I go, I want to leave you with this. I always recommend that you only buy a software or use a software if you need it because I want you to run lean. I don't want you to spend money if you don't need to. Some people feel like they have to have Zendesk or they're not going to be credible. No, you can do it through email. It's okay. As you grow, as you need the new software, as you need the new tools, then you can move up and use those tools. You don't want these expenses to be a burden. You want them to be like, wow, this is a great deal. It's really helping me and it's well worth it. All right, guys, I hope that helps. and hope to see you in tomorrow's episode. I'll see you then. Take care.